getting started on restoring the 87 Pearl exports. They're in rough shape, man. <laughs> Take a look. So, we got dents, we got scrapes, some sort of liquid, dust, uh, you name it, it's on here. These are nasty. Let's see what we can do. It's done today. Uh, well, some of them. Anyways, um, I got some products that I'm using um, and they seem to be working out pretty good. Now, keep in mind, this is a uh, wrap finish. It's not a lacquer finish. Um, flash yellow is what they call it. Anyway, so it's very bright. Um, scuff marks all over it. Tape, scotch tape everywhere. It's like there's crayon. There's everything on these drums, everything, but it's all coming off. Um, so this is what I'm using. I'm using the turtle wax rubbing compound and uh, that's to clean the first base to clean and then to get stubborn stuff off I got the goo gone so that's working good for scotch tape and the black marks and whatnot and then to finish it off um, turtle wax platinum car wax so that's that stuff there <clears throat> seems to be working out pretty good it's coming out pretty shiny I'm going to lift that up and you can see well, it's not bad um, yeah it's working out good so when I first bought my kit back in 1987 um, they came with a 12 and a 13 rack tom a 16 and 18 floor and 222 bass drums with a snare as well um seven piece kit and um i sold off one of the bass drums and the 18 inch floor tom years ago because i didn't use it that often and um you know they were just kind of lying around well i missed those i want to i want to go back to a double bass kit again um just to have one you know i've got my precious here this is my studio kit I have my small setup there, my acoustic setup here. I have too many drums. <laughs> Anyways, but I want um, a double bass kit back again. I'm going to powder coat all the hardware black to match my kit. And then I'm going to take the other drums, clean them up, tune them up, and sell them as a five piece um, to pay for all this. So, yeah, uh, this is another... 1987 pearl export flash yellow kit that again was from toronto too i found out it was from just drums and uh, it was originally bought at just drums and it came from a church um they were played hard <laughs> there's a lot of stuff that's broken there's a lot of stuff that's uh really nasty <laughs> anyways i'm cleaning them up i'll, I'll restore them and uh, get them back to operational um obviously i'm keeping the best parts out of the bunch but uh yeah so it'll come together soon stay tuned for project bumblebee <laughs> off and then i elbow grease Black, it got the black right off. Look at that. That's awesome. Black is gone. These marks are. Uh, I don't know what they are. They're pretty dirty, though. Or something. I don't I swear, 
Nice and black. A little dirty. But they're black now. They used to be chrome. it in that stops that from backing out and then the gasket gasket on now we'll take two of these screws There's the 18 inch floor tom. We're gonna put that in there. Take the screws. Screw them on. Try not to cross thread it. It's hard to do with one hand. <laughs> Keeps moving. Anyways, you get the idea. Grab our screwdriver. And tighten it up. And do that for every single one. Upper and lower. Almost done. Switch. drum in quite a few years. Yeah, very dirty. Now it's clean. Dirty. Clean. <laughs> the old freak show. <laughs> 